What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 22 franchise video. Today we are going to be using the Vikings. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. I really like their um offense because they have like really good receivers and they also have Dalvin Cook as a running back. They got Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson with Superstar Dev, which is amazing. They have a pretty good O-line. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, I didn't really know they had that good of an O-line. And then, let's look at their defense. They have Hunter on left end. He's pretty good. They got a pretty good defensive line. They also have Eric Kendricks, which is amazing. Harrison Smith, he's pretty old. But, I mean, eh. He'll be good for like a year or two. Not really. Probably just one year. But they have a really good team. So I would love to see how this plans out. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and sim to uh the uh end of the preseason when I cut people because I want to go ahead and get that out of the way. I probably don't have too much people to do. I'll probably just, um, skip it, though. Like, you know, y'all probably wouldn't have to sit through that. Okay, now we got all of that done and out of the way. Let's just go ahead and, um, let's do Eric Kendrick. This let's upgrade his card. probably this pass, is the development. Uh, this is the abilities tab. Here pass defense or whatever, pass coverage. Yeah, let's upgrade that. And then, um, ooh, yeah, let's upgrade all players, and then let's just sim to the regular season then. I'm not really going to do any, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm not going to do the season goals, just because, I mean, I don't really care that much about it. I ain't going to really be doing this long term. So, let's just... Go and see how week one turns out. We lost to the Bengals. That's very, very sad. But next we got the Cardinals, which we should probably win right here. Uh, I, I guess not. You know what I'm going to do? Ooh, who got hurt? Yeah, um, that's not good. At all. But, I'm gonna, uh, hopefully, this helps. I'm gonna change my team schemes. And then I'm gonna make it, uh, to where it's, like, vertical zone run. And then I'm gonna make it 3-4 storm. And then I'm gonna make my offensive playbook, probably, the Chiefs. Ooh, I just passed it. Right here, and then a defensive playbook will probably be the Chargers, because that's what my friend said was probably the best playbooks in it. I don't really care. What I, I don't really care about a good playbook. I mean, they do change a lot. They do really help you out, but I mean, I don't care enough to actually like look in depth which one's better. I just pick one to go with it. Okay, let's go ahead and negotiate some people. Um, let's These see. Ooh, the Harrison Smith, I'm going to upgrade him to a one year if that's possible. I guess we could do a two year. Let's go ahead and do that just in case if he doesn't accept it. Uh, okay, you aren't worth that much, Harrison. You ain't worth that much, man. I, I, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I mean... I'm not going to sign you to that. I mean, yeah, you're a 91, but in a year, you'll be like an 80. Plus, I could just sign you in free agency. It'd be way easier. Because I can get you for way cheaper. So, let's go ahead. Oh, our first win. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and press on this QB1 check-in. I'm going to edit through this because I mean it copyrights me and I don't really like that so yeah 
Okay, so I thought that was gonna, you know, be a possible dev up. It wasn't, so that was kind of a waste of time. Give him a little boost to some of his stats, though, but I don't really care about that. Prospect spotlight, I don't really care about that. Let's go ahead and look at the, um... I have, um, the draft on, like, I have the scouting on auto, so I don't really have to worry about that. I'm not gonna, uh, I probably could. I don't know. But he's gonna be like 30 next year, and he's just gonna be old, and he's only 80. So, I'll probably just pick someone up in free agency. And if I do, I could probably pick him up for pretty cheap. So that could be nice. Let's see. Is there anybody that I really want to focus on resigning? Re Not really. There's a lot of decent people. Well, there's a lot of okay people that I don't really care about signing. And then there's some that are, like, pretty good, but they're old. And they're not going to be good next year, so, I mean, might as well not do that. Ooh, weekly rewards. Let's see who it is. Might be Dalvin Cook. He might be back. No, it's not going to be. It's going to be Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Five times he got sacked. I take back what I said about, you know, having a decent O-line. Because, um, I guess they don't. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad if you get sacked five different times. And that, some of those times could have been his fault, possibly, because he didn't get rid of it faster. But, I mean, I think, this player has his own I think ability. our O-line should have held them ability. to, like, you know, less than five sacks. That's a lot. He still got player of the week though, so that's pretty nice. Okay, we got a plus one to the speed. You love to see that. I mean, that's the most uh, hype upgrade that you get. You see in the speed, because it's so hard to upgrade. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, it's our bye week. So, we're not facing anybody. So, let's go ahead and advance. We're facing the Cowboys. They're two and four right now. Not really on a good pace to being eight, eight, and one. But I mean, oh, oh, I lost. Okay, they're three and four now. So I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty close to a you know, a even record. Um, ooh, we got a new injury. Hopefully it's not someone good. We lost to the Ravens by 3, 20 to 17. That kind of stinks, but it's all good. Irv Smith, he's out for three weeks. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, three weeks, I don't really care. But if it's like eight weeks or like more, then, you know. Then I'm like, oh man, you gotta be kidding me. But... It's fine. He'll be back for like week 13 or 14. Oh man, we need him back right now. <laughs> Three and six. Okay, this is not good. Oh, we got a new injury. Another one. Let's see. Ooh, we got a weekly awards though, even though we lost again. Eric Kendricks, two sacks, nine tackles. Not bad. Pretty good actually. Yeah. It just would have been nice if, you know, the rest of my defense did pretty good, but they didn't, so. <laughs> Kirk Cousins probably threw about two pick sixes that game, so. He's probably the reason uh, why we lost that. He he probably has, like, I don't know, like, 30 interceptions on the season already. Just kidding, not that much, but, you know. He's not really that good so hopefully I can figure out a QB situation maybe Ooh, we got a breakout opportunity so I think that said we had a uh, opportunity to uh, upgrade what's his name uh, Justin Jefferson's uh, 
dev upgrade, which I don't know for sure if that is, but if it is, then he could be an X Factor, and that'd be nice. Five sacks again. Mm, that's terrible. I don't know what I need to do. But we won, though, so we, we're all good. Let's go ahead and send. We're facing the 2-9 and nine Detroit Lions. We should win that since they're 2-9. and nine, But, I mean, we're not doing too well either. So, like, that's probably why we lost 42-20. to 20. Okay, it looks like Justin Jefferson didn't get the dev upgrade, which I don't really care about. He'll probably get it at the end of the year. That's usually how it goes. I don't really care about that. He's a 67 overall. Um, He, he shouldn't be starting if he's a 67. If he is, then I probably need to draft someone in that position. I probably need to draft some on the offensive line because, I mean, my offensive line cannot hold up to save their lives. But, ooh, uh, now I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I don't really care. I have, like, $45 million to work with, so I can wait a little longer to negotiate with some people. Ooh, 6 and 8. Okay, I'm not going to look at the playoff picture because I, I, I know my best chances are being 9 and 8, and that probably won't happen. Oh, we won again! Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and play this game. Uh, let's go ahead and play this game. Okay, we lost. But I mean, to be honest, that was pretty good. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and negotiate with these people. But to be honest, that was a pretty good last couple of games. Because I won like four in a row, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't four, it was like three. Still, let's go ahead and um. I don't really care about them. Might as well resign him right here to three year, pretty cheap deal, three point one six mil for cap hit, and then no one really that I want to focus on. There's no one really that's yeah. Unless I want to resign Jake Browning, but do I really? No. Not at all. So, let's go ahead and advance week. This is going to be a lot of people leaving my team. It's going to be 20 players. So, I'm going to have to sign a lot of people in free agency, but I will have the money to do that, so I'll be chilling. Okay, so let's see how the playoffs go. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I'm doing it week by week, but I guess I am. So, my predictions on the Super Bowl is probably the Chiefs and anybody else. Because, like, I mean, this isn't real life. But in real life, the Chiefs are most likely going to be in the Super Bowl. If not the Divisional Championship. I'm at the conference. Because, I mean... <laughs> the Chiefs are just good. You know? Um, okay, it looks like it was the Chiefs. <laughs> um, who else is it? It's not popping up the other person, so I'm going to look at the playoff bracket. Let's see. Okay, so the Chiefs beat the Browns and the t uh, Titans, and now they're facing the Bucks. Okay, <laughs> I looked at the Bucks versus Packers game, and I was like, this seems like it's very familiar, but it's because they did that earlier. I hope the Chiefs win. I don't really like the Bucks, probably because of Tom Brady and Mike Evans. I don't like Tom Brady. I don't know why. I just don't. Okay. 45 to 17. They got destroyed. Let's go ahead and look at 
Ooh, no. Man. Team save snaps. I didn't look Quickly at the... the league's top what's it called? And the, current week's... the, um... Yearly rewards for last year. Or whatever. Is there any way I can look at that? Let's look. Um, okay. None of them are Vikings players, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and look at, um... I'll, I'll check that later. Like, next year. Let's see. We got, no, not staff, it's roster. Okay, let's see if anybody has upgraded their development trait. Okay, no one on offense, I don't think. Yeah, because he was hidden, and that was about it. Defense, we got Eric Kendricks went up, I think. Harrison Smith went down. To be 86. Anthony Barr. I think it's Anthony. Yeah. He went down. Good thing I didn't re-sign him. And Harrison Smith. He lost 5 overall doing that. And that's with morale. So he lost 6 overall. Over that amount of time. So. This free agency is going to be very eventful. I'm going to be signing a lot of people. To fill in my spots. Because I have a lot of spots I need to fill in. So. I'm just going to sim past this. Uh, resign period. Because I don't, I'm not going to resign anybody. And then let's go straight into free agency. So. um, I wonder who's going to be. The top person in the free agency. Uh, it's. Devontae Adams. Yeah, I probably won't sign him. Probably because I don't really care. I have Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. Jason Kelsey. Kels. Whatever you want to say. I will probably sign JC Jackson. If I can. Ooh, I can definitely get him. Let me increase his signing bonus a little bit. And we can definitely get him. There we go. And then, Harrison Smith, I'm not going to re-sign him. Michael Gallup, I don't need him. I don't need any um, receivers. No, no, no. J.K. Scott, might as well. I have a 37-year-old punter. Who knows, we'll probably retire after the draft. I don't really care. I can give him, like, the lowest amount of money ever. And then he's accepted because he's a punter. I'm getting him one million a year. So, I mean, you better accept that. Brian Poole's in free agency. I'm not going to sign him. But, uh, yeah. Ooh. I could use a free safety. And I can move him to strong safety. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll sign him to a four year deal. Then I'll upgrade his salary and his signing bonus. Only six mil. Ooh, 122. I did not need to give him that much. Okay, then. I guess I gave him a little too much, but I mean. All good. Yeah, I'm not in front still. Let's add a little bit more on. Let's put on three mil on each one. Okay, this will probably be like a hundred and eight. Yeah, I don't really care about you know being just a little bit over. Just as long as I, uh, just as long as I get them, I don't really care. Let's see. Is there anybody else that I want to sign? I'm trying to look at the positions that I need. Yes, I'm going to sign him. I need him. Bad. Let's sign him to a three-year deal. Possibly. 81 points. And... Didn't go through. Okay. Uh, I guess I could add, like, years on it. That'll probably help. A good bit. Yeah, 95. And I just got him, basically... And I'm just going to go a little bit further down now. And then that should be it. 
Um, let me send this guy real quick, and then we'll call it a day. Eighty-two. So that was a pretty okay free agency. I probably could have gotten Devontae Adams, but I don't really care that much. I could have had the best receiving core, but like I said, I don't really care. JC Jackson rejected my offer. I was giving him the highest amount. Are you dumb or something? I'm definitely not getting Colin Kaepernick. That hair is just awful. Just terrible. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at the positions. Maybe this will help. Left tackle. I don't need anybody. I have a Christian Darisol. I don't need anybody in that spot. Right guard. This is where I need someone. But I mean, there's no one better than my starter, really. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Um, other than that, we're good. Defensive tackle, right end. I don't really need a right end, really. Because I mean, I have 72 overall. That's 24. So, let's look at right outside linebacker. All extremely old. Could probably get this guy, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's see. Is there anybody? Ooh. Man. I need to sign a cornerback. Like, I meant, like, draft a cornerback. We might have to do that. That could be our best bet. I'll give him as much as I need to. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and send past the free agency. I'm going to go straight to the draft. But first, I'm going to make sure I got this guy. There would be no way he didn't accept it. Because, I mean, that's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get that kind of a deal. Because that was a lot of points. Okay, let's go ahead and start the draft. Uh, yeah, let's start it. All right, next up, the Falcons are on the clock. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to my spot right here at the 16th overall pick in the draft. The Vikings are now on the Let's clock. go ahead and pause it because, I mean, I don't really want to sit like... I don't want it to, you know, auto pick for me, especially in the first round. I don't care how long I take. I probably won't take that long, anyways. So, we got Howie Layman. Possibly might pick him up. I kind of want to, just because I need it. You know, I don't really want Kirk Cousins. Travis Molden's pretty good. I'm just gonna go with Howie. I don't really care. Hidden. Let's go. Now. 76 overall. That's already <laughs> one overall less than <laughs> Kirk Cousins. So that's that's a pretty good pick. And hopefully he's like superstar or something. Let's go ahead and skip to my next user pick. Um, we got. Now the Vikings turn. Um, who do we have as available players? I would say hopefully that middle linebacker's still there, but there's no way. There's no way he'd still be there. Let's, ooh. Really first rounder. Possibly. I'm gonna keep on looking though. For any other firsts. But if I have to, I will pick him. I'll probably pick him either way. But I'm trying to look for like a first round cornerback that I really, really need. I don't really care about second round cornerback. I mean, if I get an opportunity at a first round person, I'm going for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. Okay, here he's we go. normal the dev, but I mean, he's a 77 court. overall. That's really good. And he could be my slot receiver. Okay, let's go ahead and... You know, I don't, I don't really care about the rest of the people. So I'm just going to sim to the end of the draft, really. 
Hopefully it picks me a few good players, people with hidden dev. Usually they tend to draft a bunch of people with hidden dev whenever I auto sim it. So hopefully I can do that. Oh, okay. Let's look at. Let's see if any of my players retired. Probably not. Maybe, maybe, because I mean my team is pretty old. No one retired on my team. Richard Sherman was on the Packers. Okay. Let's look at the AFC. Okay. Manuel Sanders retired. I liked him on the Saints. Because I'm a Saints fan. And that's wh why I liked him. Okay, let's go ahead and look at my lineup. Let's see where I am right now. So, we should have that quarterback right here. I'm going to start him. Oh, we have Kellen Mond. I forgot about that, but I don't really care. I'm still going to get this guy. Because he's hidden dev. So, let's edit the player. I'm not going to edit him. I'm just... This makes it to where you can check what their dev is before, you know, actually tells you. Okay, so we superstar. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't really care if you superstar X Factor. I just don't want him to be star. Dalvin Cook's in 97 overall. Okay, he's going to be really good. I thought this guy... Oh, wait. Okay, he just has negative morale. That's what's wrong. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at defense, see if there's any hidden dev people. No, there is not. Okay. Um. So that wasn't too bad in off season. I mean, I think we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Vikings were like 87. I'm at a 97. 87 would be really good. But I, I'm pretty sure they were at night I'm at 77 my bad I don't know why I keep on saying that oh connection lost to EA servers um let's okay I don't know what I was talking about before but it was like you know kick me out so I had to join back I'll probably edit all that stuff out though so you don't have to worry about that but since I only need one person to cut I'll probably just sim to the regular season because I mean what are the odds that it cuts down and cook? It won't. Hopefully it doesn't. That'd be very dumb. But, um, hopefully we can get to the playoffs this year. We probably can. I have a good feeling. So, we're starting it off probably 0-1. Yep. We're facing the Bears. We can win this. We're at 83 overall team. They're at 80. So that's pretty good. We're 3 overall is better than them. So that means we should beat them by 3 times the amount. But, hey, did we? Not at all. Okay, so we have 2 injuries. Let's see. If it's Dalvin Cook again. Mm, not big. Like, well, those aren't big injuries. But, I mean, not like not too bad of length it's only like two weeks and then four weeks i can manage without that but i mean those are some really big players on my team hopefully we can you know not start the season off like we did last time well i mean no hopefully we can start off like we did last time because we had a pretty good start last last year so, we beat the Packers 48-41. to That was a very high-scoring game. I think I figured out what my problem is. My defense. Because, I mean, it looks like we're scoring a pretty good amount. We just can't stop them on defense. So, that's what's, you know, making us lose. A lot. But hopefully we can break the losing streak. Okay, we lost again. This is terrible.
Ooh, I got my quarterback upgrades. I'm going to upgrade him. Now I'm going to upgrade that receiver. And then I'm just going to auto-upgrade the rest. I just want to upgrade them since they're rookies. Ooh, he's a scrambler as well. Ooh, how fast is he? I want to see. 90 speed as a quarterback. That's faster than some receivers. It's probably faster than Justin. No, Justin's pretty fast. <laughs> 95 speed. He's a deep threat. That's probably why he has so much. But, okay, he didn't get up to a 96, but I mean, I mean, I don't really expect him to. So, I hope we can, you know, flip it around. You know what I probably will do? I probably will just sim to the, you know, playoffs. Hopefully, we can, you know, make it there without, you know, losing. I think we can. I think that would give me a better chance of winning. Probably not, though. I don't really care. Well, I mean, it's not really working for me right now, so I might as well. I mean, one in six. That's terrible. It'd probably save time, at least. Eric Kendricks, eight tackles, one sack, one interception, and one fumble force. That's pretty good. Okay, so he looks like he's a team player right there. He also uh, had a player of the week last year and he did pretty good um let, yeah let's go ahead and send to the playoffs I should just sim 10 years ahead I'm kidding I'm not gonna do that but um I don't know why my team's doing so bad but I mean it was one in six before I did this so hopefully I can turn itself around it's still gonna have a negative uh, negative record though I already know Oh, I thought I made the playoffs for a second. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, defensive passing yardage, 32nd. Defensive points per game, 21st. Okay, we're top 10 on um, offense, and then we're, like, one of the worst teams on defense, so. Not really good. I'll probably have to figure that out. What What was our record? I want to see who got in the playoffs. Chiefs are there again. Um, Packers didn't make it. Bears did instead. Okay. Let's look at the records. Let's see how our division did. So, where's the... How do I check the division? I, I'm still new to this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. It's right there. 11-6 Bears. 7-10 Hold up, that's pretty good. They went six and four with me simming. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and sim to the Super Bowl. Since I'm not in it. And hopefully we can fit another year in. I'm not going to make this video more than an hour long. Because, I mean, why would I? That would just be miserable to sit through. Howie is 82 overall now. Well... Hopefully after this upgrade, I think he is, so yeah. Plus two morale. So, yeah. He's 82 now. That's pretty good. I started him as a 76. So, he gained a few. Ooh. Let's see who's in the Super Bowl. It's Panthers and... The Browns. The Browns beat the Chiefs 30... 40-34 in the championship and then Cowboys they made it <laughs> okay I see you Cowboys getting not a 8 and 8 record well I mean you can't really get an 8 and 8 record but you can get an 8 8 and 1 um I don't understand how people get tied though it's kind of dumb ooh Howie Layman got 5th I know I just butchered that name. I don't really care, though. Let's see. I'm the NFC. We got him third for Offensive Player of the Year. He probably got Offensive Rookie of the Year. That's my guess. 
Daniel Hunter got fourth. Yeah, he got offensive rookie of the year. Justin Justin got third. And then uh a defensive rookie of the year we got Landry Cartwright. And then best QB, Howie. No surprise there. Running back, Alvin Kamara. Receiver, Bradley McLeod. Ooh, I think that guy was a rookie, wasn't he? Offensive rookie of the year? Yeah, he was. Okay. I see you getting top receiver your rookie year. Um, I wouldn't expect any of my team to be up here. D-line. There we go, Daniel Hunter. JJ Watt first. Khalil Mack, best linebacker. I better see. How is um Eric Kendricks not up there? Okay, whatever. I don't really care. Um So I wanna see if my quarterback dubbed up at all. It's not staff. I keep on pressing on that, thinking that it is. And then, um... Okay, so... Okay, no one changed on offense and on defense. Ooh, I... I think they went up. Well, no. I don't know. Because, I mean, last... Last time I saw, yeah, he didn't. But I mean, last time I just saw these guys have dev traits, and that's it. And then him as well. But I, I just think I wasn't looking hard enough. That's probably what was happening. Um, to be honest, I didn't really know Daniel Hunter existed before, like recently. I didn't know, like, he was, like, good. I didn't even know who he was, to be honest. It's kind of sad, though. But, eh. I don't really care. Let's see who I'm going to have to re-sign. I'm going to have to re-sign a good bid, aren't I? Oh, wait. No, that's going to be next week. So, ooh. We lost an overall on our team. We had, like, an 85, I think. But now we're, like, a... 84. Um. Yeah, I'm not signing him. Ooh, I'm gonna sign him to a two year. Possibly. Yeah. Ooh, I have a lot of money. I love to see that. I love to see that. Let's go. Okay. Dalvin Tomlinson. Probably won't re sign him. I don't really care that much. Irv Smith. I'm gonna re sign him to a four year. Hopefully this finds him. Yes, it does. There we go. It got a pretty good tight end. I'm not going to sign Kurt Cousins. That probably put a lot of... um, I don't know what the word is for it, but... It cut some slack for my cap space, let's just say that. So I don't have to worry about that too much. And I need to sign Alexander Madison since, you know, Dalvin Cook tends to get hurt a good bit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't care about any of these guys, so let's just see who's in free agency, and then once I get done, you know, signing whoever I need in free agency, then I'm just gonna advance, like, I'm just gonna send to the draft, but I need to make sure I get them first. Sign free agents, have <laughs> a lot of money. I'll probably just blow all of my money on it. I'll probably get the most expensive deals. Tyree Kill. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do right here. No, I'm just going to do it. I'm, I'm just going to do a seven year deal just for. Oh, wait, never mind. Five years is the least expensive for me. 104 points. Okay, I got Tyree Kill. And then, <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, overload on good players. I need to, ooh, I need to sign defense players. That's what I need to do, because my defense is terrible. Sean Murphy. Um, 
Welcome to the team. Let's just say that you're gonna join us. And then <laughs> 108. He should accept that. If he doesn't, then he'd be dumb. Uh, let's look at right guard because I still need a decent right guard. You know, I'll probably just sign. You know, I'll sign Will Hernandez to a three-year deal. I won't need him for that long, but I'm still gonna sign him. 135 points, let's go. I'm just gonna go ham. I don't care, honestly. Left ta uh, left end, not left tackle. Uh, ew, you know what? I'm gonna sign this guy to, to a two-year deal. Then he'll probably accept that. 108, yeah, if it's over 100, they're most likely gonna accept it. If they don't, then they're just dumb. Um, we got that, uh, I don't think really, we really need anybody at this position. I'm gonna get Zadarius Smith for a year. No, I'm not, he's very expensive. Ooh, well, he doesn't have any offers, but he'd probably be very difficult, let's just say that. Ooh, I could have a lot of good middle linebackers. I probably won't, though. And then, do we have anybody good here? No. I'm going to sign, yeah, I'm going to sign Zedaria Smith to a three-year deal, I guess. That's what he wants, so I'll give it to him. And then, we, let's try to get a cornerback, because we need a cornerback. And then let's sign Kyle Fuller to a one-year deal. Ooh, he's expensive as well. Hopefully I don't need to sign a safety. If I do, then I'm going to cut that off on Kyle Fuller. And then, let's see. You know, I don't care. I don't care about the safeties. I have a good enough pickup right here. Accepted. This guy rejected me. I gave him 108 points. I don't know how I remember that, but I did. Let's go ahead and send to the next week, see who else rejected me. Okay, I, I guess I got everybody that I wanted. I mean, I'm at 88 overall now. Wait, did I, did I press advanced draft? Yes, I did. Okay. Hopefully, we can get in a year in, like, 10 minutes. I think we can. I'm, usually, I'm going to just draft the first and second rounds, just because that's where all the good players are. It's more eventful during those times. We got ninth overall pick. I don't know how we did now worse than clock, last year, but we did. Let's, ma let's make our selection. We got... Who do we have on the board? Let's try to pick up someone in defense cornerback this is what I wanted Ooh, we also got a right end that's an early first I know he's gonna be good cuz he has, uh, I, I just know he's gonna be good there's a lot of good players that I could sign right here I don't know who I should do though I probably yeah I'm just gonna sign him the Seahawks are on the clock he's now. normal dev oh man you've got to be kidding me that hurts so much you hate to see it. I know one of those guys was hidden, if not like all of them. And I managed to pick the guy that was normal. The Vikings are on the clock now. It's what fine. He'll probably be a starter, I think. I don't remember who. I I think I have like a 67 there. I don't know. Let's go ahead and make my selection. Hopefully, we got some good people still up here. Ooh, we got him. He's a late first. I'm going to look at these guys further up, though. He's a mid. He's a pretty safe bet. Jalen Farr. He's a good bet as well, but, I mean, he's a halfback. I don't need him. I mean, I have two good halfbacks. I don't really need cornerback. Ooh, I'll probably go with him. He looks really good. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at anybody else. All right, the Seahawks are now He's the normal dev, but I mean, 
Ah oh, man, I really wanted someone to be, you know, hidden. That would have been really nice. Let's just go ahead and sim to the end of the draft. No problem. We're gonna have to cut a few people, but we can. That won't take too long. I don't know how many people I'm gonna have to cut. I think I've like. I don't know, I might have like 68 maybe. Uh, okay. So. I'm gonna check. Um. My roster and see if I did get anybody. Okay, so I lost uh, overall, so I had 88, and then now I'm at 87. But um, I have Tyreek Hill. Adam Thielen went down. Okay, I didn't realize that. Defense, we got. Ooh, Eric Kendricks went down. He was an X Factor, not too long ago. Okay. I see. Okay, we have pretty good linebackers. We need a good, strong safety. I don't know what, what we're going to do there. Yes, I do. Okay. So, yeah, that was a good go. That that was a good bet. Drafting that right in because I did need him. So, we had, we, we have a pretty good team. If we don't win the Super Bowl, that's going to be a little bit sad. But I mean, I believe that we can. I can't wait for a later tonight. I'm going to go to my first high school football game. Okay, so it cut me out again for some reason. Again, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to the regular season. Because I don't really care. I'm trying to make this all into one clip and I can only do an hour long clip. So that's why I'm trying to rush through this or whatever. Let's see, we're at 87 overall, so that's... How does that make sense? Oh, wait, never mind. We're at 83 offense. We have an 87... Wait. Yeah, we have an 83 overall team, but we don't have 87 overall. Well, yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Our team isn't 87, it's 83. That was our offense. That was 87. But hopefully we can win these games. If we have a negative record, then that probably means we're probably going to be out of the playoffs. But other than that, I really hope that we can be in the playoffs. Ooh, 4-3. and three. Okay, that's not too bad. Let, then I'm just going to go straight on to the playoffs. I don't even care at this point. I'm not going to resign anybody. I'm just going straight in. Twelve, thirteen. I feel like we're going to make the playoffs. It, if we, hopefully, we can make the Super Bowl if we do make the playoffs. But I mean, I just hope we make the playoffs. Ooh. 12 and 5. Wow. I'm going straight to the Super Bowl. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going straight to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Let's go. I'm in the Super Bowl. I'm in the Super Bowl. I'm going to check who got MVP real quick. Then I'm going to. Uh, yeah. Of course it's my guy, and then I probably got Kudvir. No, I did not. Okay, 12 and 5. I got 5th for Kudvir of the Year. Let's see. There we go. Vikings, Bears, Khalil Mack, Chris Alonzo, Jerry Spartel, Javi Lehman, Alan Kamara, Adam Thielen, Zach Martin, Chase Young, Khalil Mack, Jordan Lewis, Josh Lambeau. He's on the Bucks. That's kind of weird. I feel like Josh Lambeau's pretty good. He's pretty good at fan. He's pretty good in fantasy like two years ago. Well, like not last year, but the year before, because last year he got hurt. 
Oh, let's go. We won the Super Bowl. I'm just going to take one last look at this team. Say goodbye to everybody. That was a nice ride. Goodbye, Layman. X Factor. Goodbye, Dalvin Cook. Goodbye, Hill. Thielen didn't go up. Goodbye, Jefferson. Who is this? Where did this guy come from? Did I draft him? Well, I guess I did, because, I mean, he's, he was a rookie. But, I mean, I don't know where he came from. He's just a superstar that just, I don't know, gets a nice surprise. Man. We won the Super Bowl, finally. It took three years, but we finally made it. I thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. God bless. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.